वेलकम बैक टू यू सर इज लव इन ऑफ एन इंटेलिजेंट रोमांस ड्रामा क्राफ्टेड बाय द डेब्यूटेंट डायरेक्टर रोहिना गेरा विद अ थॉटफुल स्टडी ऑफ क्लास हाईलाइटिंग द वे इट कैन बोथ रिस्ट्रेन एंड एम्पावर Hardly in Indian cinema we have seen a poignant depiction of how economic status so intrinsically governs our romantic choices. The movie starts with Ratna played by Tilothma Shom, a young widow from a remote village in Maharashtra who has come to Mumbai to be the live-in maid to a wealthy newly married couple in their handsome apartment. Her aim in life is to provide for her family and particularly her sister whom she wants to study and succeed in life. She herself has a goal of her own. She wants to become a fashion designer, a goal which we see her defending against the social barriers. She is struggling for self-sufficiency but in a dignified manner. Then there is Ashwin, played by Vivek Gomber, an aspiring writer who has left his dream to help his father in the family business. In the beginning of the movie, he is about to get married, but we learn that the wedding has been called off. after his fiance was found to have had an affair now he is left to brood around in his posh house and slowly we see a deep bond develop between ashwin and ratna which extends beyond a mere master servant relationship after a tricky start ratna soon adapts the role of a perfect maid we first watch the solidarity between ashwin and ratna forging when ratna lies to help ashwin dodge his nagging mother प्लेड बाय दिव्या सेठ शाह तो घर पे नहीं है फोन यहां रख के गए हैं थैंक यू शी आल्सो टैक्टफुली सजेस्ट्स कीपिंग ऑल द अनओपन्ड वेडिंग प्रेजेंट्स इन हर टाइनी रूम सो दैट ही डज नॉट गेट अपसेट बुरा ना लगे It is interesting to witness how one wall of separation between the perfectly decorated master bedroom and the cramped up servant quarter so wonderfully brings out the chasm between the words of Ashwin and Ratna. The two are at the two extreme ends of the social spectrum and initially even within the four walls their words do not meet. Eventually their words within the house starts mixing. Ashwin starts walking more freely into the kitchen and having longer conversations with Ratna. The situation between Ratna and Ashwin begins to thaw when he sees her dancing in the street during a festival and they have to take a ride up the elevator afterwards. The atmosphere is pulsing with social and sexual tension. You wait for what may happen between the two when they are alone and feel edgy as to how things get revealed in public. They are loved is not one where a damsel in distress is swept off her feet by a knight in shining armor however we see ratna as worldly wise and taking the reins of her life in her own hands ratna needs to carve out an independent identity as does ashwin who has sharp differences with his father in the way he runs his business keeping the drama limited to a high rise apartment and a few exterior shots gera uses the classical setup forbidden love between two lost souls you can't date your maid ash to explore the questions of class and caste in a city that has grown from its colonial roots into a burgeoning world capital your mom would even sit at the same table as her forget everything she doesn't know how to use a fork and knife at an earlier epoch she would have very few options and an affair with her master would have never been conceivable but gera shows how times have truly changed still Indian society remains strictly hierarchical for the most part and sir ultimately reveals how unbridled emotions cannot survive in such an environment Mansoor tumhe drop kar dega While Ashwin faces the pressure of his family and social standing Ratna who as a young woman has very few opportunities in life is smart enough to know that her story with Ashwin will never end happily ever after Aap jo bhi feel kare jo bhi kahe आखिर में मैं आपकी सर्वेंट ही हूं ना इट आल्सो सिंबलाइजेस दैट मुंबई मे बी अ मॉडर्न मेगा सिटी बट दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट एनीथिंग कैन हैपन नॉट दैट पीपल फील एनी लेस लोनली देयर द वे स्पेशल डिस्टेंस हैज बीन यूज्ड इन मिररिंग द सोसाइटीज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पीपल स्टैंड्स आउट ऑन इट्स ओन कैरेक्टर्स अगेंस्ट द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ स्टील एंड ग्लास टावर्स दैट स्ट्रेच अप टू द स्काई 
but feel more claustrophobic than liberating. The conversations on the terrace plays an important role in the movie, as if they are calling for the personal freedom. In the end, it is an hour and a half long crisp film that will keep you hooked. The film is thought-provoking and touches upon the very sensitive issues, but remains understated and non-preachy. Tilottama Shom is brilliant as Ratna and layers her performance with hesitance, modesty, humiliation, willpower, often overlapping at times in different combinations. Sab has rahe the mujh pe. Mazak ban ke reh jaungi. I'm really sorry. Vivek Gumbar as Ashwin is quite impressive, especially in the moments he is alone and pondering. I hope he gets more recognition and I get to watch him in more interesting projects. Geetanjali Kulkarni in the cameo of uh, Ratna's confidant Lakshmi also delivers a solid supporting act as usual. And for her first fictional effort, Rohina Gera has nonetheless crafted a warmly nuanced look at love in a place filled with constraints and contradictions and where a broken heart could perhaps be the first step towards emancipation. I brought those questions to this problem. about how do we choose to love who we love and why and i thought oh you know i can talk about this problem through a love story and and then i don't have to be preachy because if you take on a, a social class problem or something that is a social problem it's very difficult to do it in a way that's respectful of everybody and that's not preachy i don't have the answers personally i think i'm part of the problem i think we need to think about the answers so i but i didn't know how to what sort of story to tell and then when i thought of doing it as a love story i realized that i can make these two characters equal companionship profound emotional intimacy and friendship can be found even in the most unexpected of places but if it evolves into romantic love are those feelings enough to bridge the gap that years of conditioning societal norms education and upbringing have carved between the two people who stand on the opposite ends of the social spectrum Rohana Gera deliberately leaves the ending open to the viewers to interpret and imagine what they will. The ending depends on the viewer's perspective in life, whether they are pessimists and realists or optimistic dreamers and romantic idealists. This is why I love sir. You can watch the movie on Netflix. If you like the video, kindly hit the like button and share the video. For more videos like this, kindly subscribe. Till next time stay safe and have a good time. Ashwin